I'm Jacob McClellan. Wayne Bowen is Cape Girardeau's new city council member. He was recently elected in a special election to replace Kathy Swan in Ward 6. Wayne Bowen, thank you so much for dropping by. Thanks for the invitation. Well, Wayne, you're uh, currently a, a lieutenant colonel in the uh, in the Army Reserves. Kind of give us a tell us a little bit about your uh, about some of the places that you that you've served and, and what you're doing in the in the in the, in the reserves right now. So, well, I've, I've been in for 23 years and served in Bosnia as well as in, in Iraq in 2004. And in Iraq, I was had the opportunity to work with universities as well as archaeological sites, which was real real exciting. Uh, currently, I'm the senior human resources officer for the 310th Expeditionary Sustainment Command in Indianapolis. And we have 8,000 reserve soldiers spread across uh, nine states. Uh, so that, that does keep me busy. And in addition to this, you're a member of the city council and the chair of the history department here at Southeast Missouri State University. Can you tell us, how did you get involved in, in or how did you want to, how, what, what made you interested in, in city council work? Well, I've been active in politics for quite a while, and uh, the last few years had the opportunity to serve on two commissions. First, the Historic Preservation Commission, which is related to, of course, my profession. And then more recently on planning and zoning, where I got to see development plans, special use permits, how the city engages in decisions about development and expansion and, and trying to enable businesses to do what they want to do while keeping a consistent uh, community. And so that uh, was real interesting to, to get real deep into some of the projects in, in the city and, and that, that businesses are, are engaged in. Uh, and then uh, um, a friend of mine, Kathy Swan, who was the city councilwoman for Ward 6 at the time, decided to run for state rep, and uh, she asked me to be one of her campaign managers, which I was happy to do. And during the course of it, as it began to be clear that not only would she be elected, but she wouldn't have an opponent, uh, we began to joke, well, maybe I could just you know, step into the city council seat. And so we began to talk a little more about that, and I began to think, well, you know, maybe I should think about that. And so talked to my wife and family and prayed about it and talked to friends and here I am. Uh, you've, you've mentioned several times that public safety is an area where you really want to, to focus um, on, on council. Um, well, what, are some of your, what are some of your ideas for public safety in Cape Girardeau? Right, well I started in the Army Reserve as a military police officer so law enforcement's been very close to my heart for a long time and uh, so we have an excellent police department, excellent fire department. Uh, but I think uh, it would be useful to, to pay a little more attention to, uh, for example, the, the Police department facilities are quite old, and so the question now comes, do we upgrade, do we move to a new facility, and the city's undertaken a, or is proposing to undertake a study of that, which I think is great. Uh, we also need to look at attrition. We need to look at uh, paying compensation to make sure that we're attracting and keeping the best, the best fire and, and police personnel. And again, two great departments, but trying to do what I can to support, support them working with the city manager and other members of the council. You've also talked a bit about uh, economic development issues for, uh, for Cape Girardeau. What are, what are some of your, your ideas there? Well, it's not so much that they're my ideas. It's just that, uh, that I think the, the city is doing a good job, mm -hmm. uh, and it's, a, it's an excellent opportunity now to, to look at some, some new possibilities. Um, so, uh, for example, I think the idea of the riverfront fund that the city has, has underway to use some of the casino revenue to enable downtown revitalization, I think, is exciting. And one of the things that's, that's great about, uh, about Cape Girardeau is uh, organizations, um, Humane Society, for example, but dealing with downtown development, Old Town Cape, where you get, when you work out a relationship with that type of nonprofit, the city gets a multiplier effect. If we provide support to Old Town Cape for paid staff, they bring along with them dozens and dozens of volunteers who are engaged, who are excited, who are motivated. And if the city had to pay for all the staff that accomplishes the same thing that all the volunteers do, it just wouldn't be cost effective. So I think that's a great model, and I'd like to see that continue. And I, again, I think the Riverfront Fund is a good example how the city can leverage some investments to get even more, not only in terms of manpower, but uh, in terms of development. Why do you think that people should get involved in their, in their local government here? Well, uh, every day we drive on the roads and try to go shopping uh, and take advantage of services that are decided on by government. And so either that can happen in, in, in a vacuum with members of the city council and employees doing what they see as, as is best, or citizens can get involved and contact their members of the city council, contact staff of the city, um, uh, to say, well, this is what I'd like to do. And when there are public forums, to come and say, you know, I, I think maybe we need to have better access roads to this new shopping center. Or maybe we need to have uh, funds from the casino used for different outcomes because it, it's very easy to complain. But the way to have your, um, your ideas to come forth is to participate as early and as frequently in the process, applying to be on boards and commissions of the city, going to those public meetings, contacting representatives. And then that, then that way, members of city council have at least 
at least a broader perspective. Maybe not completely representative, but, but it does help. And if you want the city, if you want a city to be more like what you want, you have to be engaged in it early in the process. And, and it's not just limited to, uh, to city government either, because as you mentioned, there are, there are uh, groups like Old Town Cape or the Humane right. Society that you, can, that you can volunteer with and work with to, that, to help make your community a better place. That's absolutely right. Now, now, Wayne, you've, you've written a, a few books in the past. Um, I, I'm just wondering if you, uh, if you have any other, any other books that are, that are in the works right now. I'm working on book number seven, which will be uh, a study of Spain and the Reformation. Uh, there was, of course, the Reformation was a dramatic series of events that took across all across Europe and changed the religion of many countries, but there hasn't really been a dis dis study yet of Spain uh, in that context. So I, I went to, to Madrid last October as a part of a conference on this, and so... I think it'll be an interesting project, and I'm just getting started, but um, hopefully it'll come out uh, in 2017, the, the 500th anniversary of the Reformation. Tell us a little bit about um, some, some of your past work that you've done uh, as far as Spanish history. Is that, is, is, as I understand it, that's, 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 your, that's your specialty, right? That's right. Uh, so four of my six books have been on Spanish history, and the most recent one was Spain and the American Civil War, which just came mm -hmm. out in uh, the fall of 2011, um, published by the University of Missouri Press. So... Uh, trying to put Spain back into the discussions about foreign policy and the war. And uh, people don't realize that Spain almost got into the Civil War on the side of the South. Mm -hmm. And that could have had a dramatic impact since Spain controlled Cuba, controlled Puerto Rico, had naval forces in the Caribbean. Um, so uh, it's an interesting story, and, and uh, it was fun to tell it. We've been talking today with Wayne Bowen. He represents Wayne Ward 6 on the Cape Girardeau City Council. Wayne, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.